When I was nine years old, Germany invaded Poland. I was incarcerated in ten slave labor death camps. It was relentless for five years. One time I stole a potato. A guard saw me and he gave me 25 lashes with a lead pipe. Several times I was going to be murdered, but I managed to get away. I can't fathom like, all the stuff we went through. <laughs> me too. After I was rescued from hell, I came upon a soldier that showed me compassion and he gave me a flag. America brought me here and they said I'm human. I didn't have a penny. I had no place to live, but I lived in the car when I attended Boston University. But I made something of myself and you can do the same thing. Steve was a social worker in the projects probably around the time I was just starting to get in trouble. When I was about 14, I had stolen a car. That was the catalyst that brought Steve Ross into my, my life. He made you feel important. I was just amazed that he was even alive and decided to devote his life to helping kids like us. And to see somebody actually here, yeah. you, know, you know, it reaches me, you know. It is vital to have a memorial to tell the world of all the atrocities. In proposing this Holocaust memorial, Steve was the quarterback of the team. The Six Towers was also the number six million. The six-pointed star, the six death camps. I just want to show you the little flag that was given to me by a soldier. That's what he gave him. He gave him a flag. I have searched for this angel for many years. If this really is my grandfather, he's been searching for 67 years. Give up your education, stick with it.